Hey, what's going on guys? Master Luke 48 here and today we are back playing some more Minecraft Skyblock. This is episode 15 and last episode we completed the Bowmaster quest and we also built a lovely cocoa farm over there. We currently have two quests at the moment and we are actually almost done one so actually let's go do that right now. Cacti farmer is almost done so I think we only need to go here. Roof plant we need about uh, eight more so let's go ahead Quickly harvest up some cacti. All right, here we go, and there we go. The quest is complete. All that's left now is blot out the sun, which requires us to buy a lot of gravel. And gravel costs a lot of money, and that's where our cocoa farm comes into play. In between episodes, I have been very, very busy with all these cocoa beans. And guys, j just look at this. Look at all these cocoa beans. I've just been busy placing the water on top of here and just getting so many cocoa beans and these things sell for so many skyblock coins. Okay, now for the moment of truth. With a full inventory, not including the hotbar, but with a full inventory of cocoa beans, let's go ahead and sell items. How much money are we going to make? Oh my goodness. I think we're rich. I think we are very rich. We can do it again. Let's sell some more. Oh my goodness. We're at 300,000 coins. And we're not even, we didn't even scratch the surface. We still have this chest to go through. The reason we need all this money is because we need to buy gravel for our quest. And if we go here, blocks, gravel costs 4,000 coins. And if we go to quests, we need to get a lot of gravel to get uh, flint so we can craft arrows right here. Let's go ahead, actually. Let's go, we'll buy some gravel. Uh, let's go ahead here. Uh, oh geez, uh, let's, we'll spend $128,000 for 32 gravel. There we go. Okay, so we have this. I think this either is not enough or it will be enough if we get lucky with the flinch and everything. But, so we have, th this is why I made the cocoa farm in the first place though, is so we can get lots of money. But, there is also, I planted all these jungle logs because jungle trees also give lots of money. I have crafted a bunch of axes and now it is time to go through and chop down this big tree uh, and sell all the logs, because logs, I'm pretty sure they sell for like 120 each, like 120 coins for like one log, and that is very good. So, th we're all doing this, uh, getting the cocoa beans, and getting these jungle logs, so we can com complete that one quest. <laughs> All right, I just finished mining this tree and how many logs do we get? That's actually quite a bit. That's actually a decent amount of logs. If we go here, sell items, uh, sell jungle log. Oh my goodness, look at that. I haven't even mined this tree or the one we have on that other island. Jungle logs are the way to go. I'll mine this tree now. I don't think we actually need to mine the other tree. I think we have plenty of logs and plenty of money. So I'm just gonna mine this tree real quick. Okay, I just finished cutting down that tree and now it is time to start going through all this gravel. Okay, we finally got all the flint, and it seems like gra like gravel is kind of glitchy on like this server because like we lost two pieces of gravel, but hey, I ain't complaining. We got a lot of gravel there, so let's go ahead and craft some more sticks, and I think we do have some feathers somewhere. There we go. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Is this going to be enough? It doesn't look like it. Oh dear, we're like 300 short. But hey, that's okay. We now have a visualization of how much more we need to get, so I think maybe about like... To, like I think a, a, we need about a stack of gravel and then we should be able to complete this quest. Until more jungle trees grow though, I, wa I want to do something. I want to build out a little platform because I want to really change um, our tree farm because our tree farm, we've had it since like day one and I think I have a more efficient I design in mind so that we can fit more trees in one area. Let's first go ahead and finish this little platform here. Okay, so this is like my ba main idea for a tree farm. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to line this inside here with dirt and then just have all the saplings right next to each other because I spaced them out over there because I thought saplings needed like room to grow and like they had to be like at least two blocks apart from each other. Well, that's actually not the case and this has been taking up a lot of space right in front of our area. So I think we will be able to free up a lot of space here and get more logs in one area much easier. First things first, let's actually cut down all these trees that we have here at our spawn island. Okay, we have gathered all the logs, and now I think we have... I have dirt. Yes, I got dirt here. So now let's go back... Actually, yeah, let's go back over to here, and let's just see... I think we might be able to do two rows or three rows of trees. I don't really know. 
Before we go any further, let's go ahead and actually test if this will work. Because I did test it uh, a while ago, and it did work, so let's see if it still works now. Let's just place a bunch of oak trees there. I think... I don't really want them to be too crammed. I'll do I'll do like a one block spacing between them. Hopefully that'll work. Let's actually plant two there just so we can see. Because I use a lot of oak trees. I like I like to build with oak, as you can see. I like lots of oak here. Um, but I think we can also actually expand like this area to have to fit multiple big jungle trees like this. We can also bring that down. Because this is actually a part of the pumpkin patch. This is just the, the spots I haven't planted yet. So yeah, I just use the, these for the jungle logs. But hopefully we can actually get some nice uh, designated areas for the trees to actually grow. Oh wow, look at this! The trees actually fit all in one area! Let's see, will these trees fit? What's oh! Wait, they do! Oh, this is awesome! Alright, this is so good. Uh, we can finally have some more space over there. Now, I think I actually will make a little section like this for jungle trees and spruce trees. So I can actually free this last section here and actually put the pumpkins in here like I was supposed to do a while ago. And we'll continue the tree farm down this way. I will say, our farming island is coming along very well. Okay, I think this is a good platform for our jungle trees. Let's go ahead and plant these out here. Let's see, yeah, it's all even out. We actually don't even have enough jungle trees to even finish up this whole area. So, once these grow, we can now actually finish the pumpkin farm here. And then move all of our saplings to over here. And look at this, this is looking so nice. All the oak trees are even grown, so this is awesome. And this area is looking a lot nicer too. We have so much room here. Maybe we'll be able to b eventually build like a better mob spawner than that. And maybe like have a one up high or something with all this area. Oh my goodness. But I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today's video here. We have accomplished so much. We can we completely uh, like changed this area up. We got so much money. We built new tree farms and everything. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, please consider hitting that like button. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future Minecraft Skyblock content. And thank you guys for watching till the end of the video. Bye!